Oh, no, no doubts. Doubts, I never had doubts. But I also know that the step between youth and, and the first team is huge in Italy. Mm. Because we, uh, we don't have, for example, the, the second team. We, we, we have a huge gap. That is one of the issues that we have now in Italian football. How young players, 18, 19, can go to the first team. Mm. That's, I don't know, another... Like a in England, team. In, other, yeah. in Spain, they, do, they did it. Uh, we are not able to do it like other countries, so that is a big issue. There is a time for everything and for everyone, in my opinion. Sometimes football doesn't give you that, the time that you need. So when you went to Juve and you're that young kid, you're training with Baggio, you're training with Zidane, who, who'd you learn the most from? Who, who pushed you? Big who'd brother, you, you mentor. Know, who, who'd you fe felt like, maybe like, hey, you're not taking my spot. I mean, you, basically, Baggio gave you the number 10, right? Well, with Baggio was a particular situation because uh, this, we played two years together, and the second year was, was a little bit of friction with the club. And then he left the club. Uh, I learned from him. I learned from each of them because I was listening. I was open to listening. For me, I was in a situation where it's the best place to be. And I don't want to say that everything that the, my teammates were doing right, but I was curious, I was asking, I was seeing what they're doing, I was see how they act, how they interact each other, how they play on Sunday after that week. I kind of analyze things in your mind. And then, and then you start picking st uh, stuff. OK, probably that way, that guy did it in the right way in that situation. And then I was mixing with my mentality and see what I feel right to do. I was part of the group. They never got angry if I make mistakes, because probably also they see how much effort I put on it. If it's look, a combination of things. If you look I mean, back, was there one tough moment, though? What well, the first year was really tough for us because it uh, was the last year of Trapattoni, a huge manager for, in Italy, and especially Juve. With Juve, he wants everything in the past. It was a very tough year. We, we finished low on the table. Usually, Juve ran for the titles, you know, till the last day, but we were out of that run, that run. A lot. We play in the UEFA Cup and we lost against Cagliari. It was a derby in the, in the UEFA Cup. It was a derby we, we lost at home 3 2. Was Losing against Cagliari it was kind of amazing. Fans criticized the Haas fighting. But then at the end of that year, a lot of things changed. New coach, new club, uh, uh, GM, uh, sport director, everything was new. And we reset and we start from zero. How important is that as a footballer to be able to deal with change? Is that like a, a constant? Yeah. I think it's one of the most important things to always adapt. And I think it's really smart how he, how he was as a, a young kid, being so observant, watching and learning. Because you can't come in there and just get respect. You have to earn it through through your play and, and, and get everybody's respect as a teammate. But. You always have to adapt your game to different coaches, to different Did teams. Did you ever struggle with that change? Yeah. I mean, there's, there's like, I remember going to, to Fulham and being an, an all-star in MLS to being nobody uh, over there and trying to figure out a way to get on the pitch more, to, to get into games and how to make an impact. So it's being able to, like, always stay true to yourself and how you play and how you love the game, but you have to maybe play more defense or you maybe have to play more simple and do whatever it takes to kind of earn the right to take more risk. For me, for me, it was a little bit different than you, by the way, because I stayed with you for 19 years. So at least I didn't change what was around me, you know? Do you look at that and kind of envy that situation of 19 years at one club to be able to have that as your story in football, or do you enjoy the experience that you had moving around? I think it's dope. I mean, to be able to be with a club that's one of the biggest clubs in the world for that long a period of time 
and to be in, in your own country is, I think, is, is, mm. is cool, you know? I mean, I, we didn't have that in, in America. There was no club right. that was that huge that you would have that experience, that mentality that he talks about of kind of winning everything. And if you didn't finish with the, with the winning the league, then it was consider, considered a failure. But at the same time, it was, it was cool to go outside your comfort zone and to experience new cultures mm -hmm. and see if you could make it in, in some of the top leagues in the world. When you talked about Zidane having trouble initially to start and play, but then obviously he, he did extremely well, what was it like watching Thierry Henry? Did you see it? Like when you were, when he, I know you're injured, but when you're watching training, when you're watching the games. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. He was really young, but you can see something different. I think in that particular moment, probably UK gave him more opportunity to show his potential that, you know, like a defense place and league like Italy, where yeah. as soon as you it's do difficult. something, yeah. <laughs> yeah. they hold you, they, we have many secrets, you know, and yeah. we're famous for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is one of the issues that we are facing now because you can't play that defense now, modern era. You have a yellow card after five minutes. You think about it, you know. We have different problems in Italy, but one of them is because we lost our identity as a how to know how to defend. Is that as a, a country or is that just as different clubs? As a country. Yeah. Why, why would that go missing? Why would you lose that? If that's always because been your identity. Because you can't play like this. It's a, oh, I see what it's you're a, saying. Okay. A, I mean, we're talking about Chiellini, It's taken away from you. about Bonucci, right. yeah. you know, Cannavaro, Nesta. There's a lot of dirty work behind what you see when the ball arrives. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <Maserati. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> no, it didn't hide too much, hey, Marco. Hey. <laughs> that's part of it, no? Yeah, yeah, but that's part of the job. That, you know, 10, 50 years ago, you can do some stuff that now is a red card, not even yellow card. It's, it's a different regulation, different rules. Uh -huh. And then, then I believe it's one of the reasons why Spain is doing so good, because they have already mentality to play the ball, and, mm -hmm. and now they're winning every single tournament. Men's, women, under 19, blah, blah, blah. And us, for us, defense was, was life. Mm -hmm. Was, you know, we have one of the best defenders in the history of football.